r slash ask reddit what tiny thing pisses you off those fake download buttons that make me have to reinstall my grandma's os every other month install an adblocker next time it removes the fake buttons she learned how to turn it off because it ruins her favorite websites by blocking the ads she likes ever since you messed with my computer i no longer win on websites for visiting them what did you do to my computer it's all those games you installed, they're taking up too much memory. Also while I am ranting, when you're trying to fap and you hear in the background a middle aged man start talking in the pop up window behind you about how he is making $40,000 a week. This happened so much I have a fetish for pyramid schemes, comma. For me it's when you ask someone to close the door as they're leaving the room but they leave it open just a crack instead. So basically everyone's mom. Holy shit this is too real. Do all hospitals all over the world issue a handbook to new moms or something? Why is this a standard? Because they all want to spy on you. Moms can't help it. They have an instinct that is difficult to oppress. Slow people walking in groups that take the whole sidewalk. Are the horror. Mean dethals. Well, there's a term that I'll be using for the rest of my life. People who play games on their phones at full volume. Or people who text with the texting sound still on. Or just generally people who play anything on their phone at full volume. Nah, in fact, any website with an autoplay music or sound, it is insane. When shoppers hog the middle of the grocery aisle, oblivious to others trying to pass by, as they look over items on the shelves. It's worse when they turn their cart sideways too. I've seen worse, I've watched a woman use a main cart that they left in the middle of a larger aisle for their stuff, whenever they want to add an item, they would grab a new cart, go to their destination, pick up the stuff, come back, and merge them with their original cart, simply tossing the spare cart to the side, after a while there were a good 5 or 6 random carts just sitting there. What the duck? It drives me mad. People not waiting for others to disembark of any form of transport, attempting to exit the train doors and being hit back by some impatient twat is the most irritating thing. It ruined my day. Oh god, that ducking attitude makes me want to scream. Also people who block the ducking doors, especially on an empty bus or train, the opening should be wide enough for people to enter or exit efficiently, but instead everybody has to slowly shoulder past the person who took one step onto the transport and decided that was far enough. 9 times out of 10 they're also wearing an oversized backpack and give the stink eye to everybody who has the audacity to enter at their chosen door. When you lean forward in a car and the seatbelt catches, so you lean back to reset it and the same ducking thing happens even. But hey, at least I know they work. You'll be thankful for those when you get rear-ended in a car park at a walking pace. Firing the seatbelt pretensioner for whatever reason pulling you so far back into your seat that you're no longer driving the car. You are the car. Even if it means getting rear-ended. When my earphones get snatched by something. Instant rage. Oh man. That's reason number one why I bought a pair of wireless headphones. It's not just annoying. It really hurts too. One of the worst ducking things about headphone wire rage is you don't even know who or what to be mad at. The shit just happens in a flash. Sitting at a red light when I'm the only one at the intersection. Goddamn ducking floating headers. Infuriating. Or when you're trying to click a link, and the website's header graphic loads and pushes everything down a bit and you hit the banner for the new Clash of Clans clone. Cigarette butts on the ground in a smoking area. The ashtray is right there. In my neighborhood there's a lot of mulch in front of the apartment buildings. And there are signs telling people not to toss their cigarette butts into the mulch because it'll start to fire. But people still do it. When you accidentally close the music app. When people, my mum for example, use worry too many words to get across a point question etc. 911 Caltica slash dispatcher here. It's amazing how people do this even when calling 911 for serious emergencies like heart attacks, car accident CTC caller. So I was getting coffee and trying to pay with exact change when the cashier was being rude and my brother Brian was trying to get his order in at the same time and I was telling him me, Sir, we are on a 911 line. What is the emergency? Caller. Oh right. The cafe is on fire. FFS. 
using reddit on my mobile and trying to click a link but end up minimizing the comment so I gotta go in with my sausage fingers and click on it but accidentally minnows a response. Happened to me twice on this thread alone. I just thought I was an idiot and couldn't figure out how to use reddit. Stepping in a puddle of water in my kitchen bathroom right after I put on Efra Verion sucks here. Clean socks. My roommate always wears shoes around the house and doesn't seem to understand how to use sinks so water is always all over everything but it never bothers him because he's wearing shoes. It makes me want to strangle him when I step in a puddle with my socks on. When you're eating and your fork decides that it wants to make an awful high pitched screech when it barely grazes the plate. When you're eating and you pull the fork out as you bite, but you're too slow and bite the times, it just feels wrong. Any sticker that you can't peel off in one piece, absolutely infuriating. People who listen to music on their phone in public without using headphones, I ask them to turn it off every time it happens somewhere I have to be for any length of time, and without fail the person doing it acts as if I'm the one being unreasonable. Try doing this in a major city, you'll die. This is actually the only place I see people ballsy enough to tell the wannabe DJs to knock it off. There is a guy on my train that often ends up in the same subway car as me. He is a large, white man who is overly into gangster culture, and reminds me of those tryhards that everyone went to middle school with. He likes to rap along to his music, very loudly and poorly, with no concern for fellow passengers. I've dubbed him the serial rapist, because of the repeated violation of my ears without consent. People leaving shopping carts in the parking lot. Okay, so I actually just angrily grabbed his cart and pushed it to the cart corral in a half, but I totally thought about leaving it behind his car. He grabbed two carts. Walked to where her car was parked and before she got the chance to start backing out he placed the carts right behind her car and walked away. People who don't use their turn signal. Or when they throw their blinker on at an unprotected left after the green light comes on. I would have taken the other lane if I knew you were going to sit there waiting for the whole cycle. When people use a microwave, remove their food before the time has expired and then don't clear the time remaining. Clipping your nails in public, especially in any enclosed area like an airplane. People aren't that oblivious, surely? The most baffling part though is that he does it first thing in the morning upon arriving, like he didn't just come from home where he could've done it in the bathroom like a normal human being. Those little stickers on fruit, hate em. Also when thrift stores staple the price tags onto leather goods, right onto the leather. I'm not from the USBTW so you may have some regulations against these, but man this just doesn't make any sense. I once bought this lovely bamboo cutting board that had a giant sticker wrapped around IT. No matter what I did, there was sticky shit on both sides of it forever. I'm getting kind of pissed off thinking about it. TBH. When there are no lines painted in a row of car parking spaces but it's clearly big enough for three cars and either one or both idiots park in a way that a third car won't fit. People who don't flush. Inconsistent formatting. A sign of my university is in all caps, apart from one line. People who leave a space before their comma, like this. People who don't count the numbers in their lists like this. Littering. Seriously. Just wait until you get to a trash can. It's not that hard. Not covering your damn mouth when you cough or sneeze. Unexpected phone calls. Or doorbells. I hate being called if I don't know the number. And I hate when the doorbell rings and I have no idea what it could be. Instantly sinks my stomach and annoys me. Are you my dog? My toddler. Why does he have to get up at 6am and paint the bathroom with toothpaste? Because if he doesn't do it who else is going to? I pictured a little kid with a frustrated look on his face smearing toothpaste on the counters mumbling I'm the only one in this house that does anything useful. I cannot stop laughing. Send help. YouTube videos that use the artificial voice thing. What about the ones that always start hey there guys and girls. I tease me again. Your boy the YouTube phenomenon. Before we get started can I get you to like and subscribe all my videos and channel. Jeez that's annoying. Then there is the 3 minute videos with opening and closing theme songs. When I'm watching a movie I like with friends after I recommended it, and they are on their phones within the first 5 minutes before even giving it a chance. 
double bonus points. If they then say 10 minutes into the movie I don't get the point of this movie after paying zero ducking attention. I get a call from some company or whatever. A collections call. Salesperson. Doesn't matter. And I hear please hold while we connect you to the next available representative. I immediately hang up. If you're calling me and using my time and expect me to wait. Duck you. If you can't call me and be there on the other end when I pick up. Don't call me at all. When I can't find something I'm looking for, nothing throws me into a rage faster than wasting time looking for something I need. And it's not even like well then keep your shit organized because it'll be something that I know should be somewhere, and isn't. Switching into power saver mode. Also when people purposely don't push in their chairs after using them. Do you have no manners? You need more light in this room it's dark. Mum proceeds to pull window blinds. People who don't show the slightest bit of urgency to get out of the ducking way when they are walking in a parking lot. I don't expect you to run, but don't look at me like I owe you something. It's just rude. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.